Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer and today we have a 2019 Ram 2500 and we're going to go and do a test fit of this Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now this is going to mount to the bare roof of your Ram. It's going to be a really nice rack to be able to get some of your favorite rooftop accessories loaded up in order to conserve on space inside your cab and in the bed. You might have some toolboxes or a tonneau cover or something in your bed that's preventing you from getting the gear you want to take with you loaded up. So you could get a couple of bikes loaded up there so you don't have to just toss them in the bed of your pickup. That could damage them, especially if they're high-end bikes. If you want to get a couple kayaks up there in order to conserve on space in the bed, maybe for your other cargo, if you're going on vacation, you can do that as well. You could even throw a cargo box up there or even a cargo basket, again, to get that extra luggage, that extra camping gear loaded up so you don't have to take away the space for your other gear in the bed or in the cab. And with this roof rack system, we have two 60 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars. These are really nice construction from Thule. They have a nice aerodynamic shape that helps cut down on wind noise and drag when we're traveling. We have them in black right now, but if you think silver might match your Ram better, then you can pick up that kit. It's available here at eTrailer, so you can have some silver crossbars for that. You can see we got this rubber strip up top. This is gonna let us know we can utilize T-slot accessories. And all we need to do that is to flip open the end cap right there, nice and easy to do so. And then instead of pulling the strips out, all we do is just run our accessory between the two strips to the desired location on our roof, tighten it down, and then we're good to go. Now right here we have our Evo clamp feet. These are the feet that are for our bare roof. Along combined with the fit kit, this is going to attach our crossbars to our, the roof of our ram. Go ahead and take the end cap off so you can see it a little bit better. Right here with the rubber coated hook and the rubber pad, that's our fit kit that's designed for our ram. You can see how it really matches the contours of our roof very well, give it a really secure fit. And with the rubber pad and the rubber coating on the steel hook, you're not going to have to worry about it scratching or damaging your roof. Now inside here is where the bolt is to tighten down our clamp. Basically when we tighten it down, it's going to pull up on the clamp and sque squeeze it between the pad and the clamp to make sure you have a secure fit. Now over here we have these plastic locks. You can actually replace these with some Thule lock cores with their one key system. That'll just provide more security for your roof rack. Now I do want to provide you guys with a few measurements. First from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar, it's going to be about three inches. That should be enough space to get your clamp on accessories underneath your crossbar without hitting your rooftop or scratching it up. It should also be enough space for if you have a sunroof on your ram to be able to open that up as well. Now if we go from the top of the roof to the top of the wing bar, it's about four and one quarter of an inch. That's something to keep in mind that you have that added height to your roof. So for any low clearance situations you might run into, like maybe parking in your garage, make sure that your roof rack will clear before you pull in. Now this roof rack has a weight capacity of 220 pounds, so you're gonna be able to get a lot of stuff loaded up there. But I always advise you to double check with your vehicle's owner's manual. Make sure that your roof can handle that weight before you load it up. Now that I've shown you guys some of the features of this roof rack, I'll show you how to get it installed. Now we've already got the front crossbar installed, as you can see. The rear one's going to assemble and install the exact same way. So let's begin by getting our crossbar flipped over right here. We need to put together our fit kit with our Evo clamp foot. We just have our rubber pad and then our rubber coated hook. Two simple things. We'll start with the pad. You can kind of see this bracket on the bottom side that can pivot. It is a very close shape to the pad right here. So we just match up the shape. See how it's kind of cut out right here. Same thing with our pad. So we just put that on and just apply some pressure. Really make sure you clamp that pad on there around all sides. Once that's on there, we'll grab our rubber coated hook. And that's just gonna go up into this channel right here. And all we have to do is push up until you hear a click. Just like that. Give it a couple tugs, we know it's locked into place. Now right here we have the scale on the bottom track. What we need to do is set this to the number specified in the instructions, which for the rear bar, it is 63 and a half. So I already have it adjusted. There's integrated numbers all throughout that scale right there, as you can see. So I have it set at 63 and a half up to the edge of the track. So what I'm gonna do is take the end cap off, just like that. Grab my foot, 
and then there's two little silver buttons right there. When I, when I push in on those, that's going to unlock the track up there. So as you can see, it kind of comes up. So what we need to do is push in on those and then slide it into the channel. So I'm just gonna push and then slide. Once my foot right here hits the edge of the scale, I stop, let go of those buttons, and now the foot is locked into place. I can put my end cap on and now we're ready to get it on our roof. Now with both of our rear doors open, I'm just gonna climb up here and get my roof rack over and set it on my roof. Now from here, what we need to do is measure our crossbar spread. So I'm gonna go get a measuring tape. So what I'm gonna do is measure from the front of my back crossbar to the front of my front crossbar. And in the instructions, it specifies 27 and a half inches for that spread. So I'm a little far right now. Could already tell with the tape. I still need to go in. And we're almost there, just a little bit more. There we go, we're at 27 and a half. We wanna make sure you get this done for the other side and always double check to make sure that your measurements are correct. Now we can get our included tool and begin tightening down the roof rack system. What I'm gonna do to start is there's still some slack in my hook right here, so I'm going to tighten it up until it makes contact with my door jam, which is already at that point. Give it a couple more rotations. From there, we wanna to go to the other side and do the same thing, because we don't want to pull too much on one side by tightening it down. So we're just gonna make our way back and forth, doing a couple rotations on each side until we have it fully tightened down. That's gonna ensure that the roof rack is completely centered on our roof. Once you hear those audible clicks, you know it's torqued to the correct specifications from Thule. So now, let's just go grab our end caps. And just like that, our roof rack's completely installed and we're ready to load up our favorite Thule rooftop accessories and then hit the road. Well everyone, that's just gonna about do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system for our 2019 Ram 2500.